Got him. Awesome. Out here today, early ice walleye fishing. Dirty water using lipless crankbaits, covering a lot of water, getting a bunch of good eater fish. Early ice like this, these fish are a lot of times are really aggressive and you can get away with using straight artificial presentations, no live bait needed. You can really fish efficiently, staying mobile with the wheeler, staying silent with the electric auger up in the shallow water and just covering a lot of ice and calling these fish in from a long ways out in this dirty water. When you're not using any live bait, it, it, it can be very key to pay attention to your electronics and, and watch how the fish is reacting to your bait. Because for me, I'm, I'm gonna be keeping that bait moving on the move as I'm jigging that fish up off bottom. I'm gonna keep it moving until that very pivotal moment when I want that fish to eat, I guess, is, is how I would put it. I'm gonna be ripping and shaking, and as that fish comes up, and I, I think I'm gauging how active he is on my screen, and I can I can see how he's reacting to my movements, and as soon as he, he's at that pivotal moment, which for the most part on my screen, I like, to, I like those two lines to be meshed, um, and I'm gonna kinda kill it and give him that opportunity to eat it if he wants it. And if not, I'll just kinda keep bringing that fish up and trying to coax that fish into biting. When you're fishing artificials, you don't have any of that added attraction that live bait does. No scent, there's no meat on the hook, so getting them to, to eat artificial can be a little bit tricky unless the fish are in the right mood. We really have, you know, this is a good example of a neutral negative fish. He's just kind of hanging out down there. He's not being real aggressive on my bait. And so just trying to do different cadences to, to try and get that fish a little bit more fired up. That's what you have to do, dropping it down below the fish. Sometimes you can get that reaction bite. I like to stay above and give it some bigger rips. You wanna stay mobile as well when you're doing this because you're searching out those active fish. You're not just sitting and waiting for them to come through. You're gonna fish a few holes, work the area over, hop on your wheeler, move to the next area, drill some more holes. Sometimes you'll land on a big pot of active fish where you can sit in one spot and really hammer them out. Other times, like today, having to move around and really go and search those fish out, call them in from a long ways out. With this style of bait, I like to use a, a, real, a rod with a real soft tip. It lets me feel the bait, make sure it, it's not fouled up because when you're jigging jigging like this, a lot of times you can foul, foul it up when you're straight vertical jigging. Being able to feel everything through the rod, making sure your bait's working properly down there is key. On the business end, I like to use a, a snap. When you're just barely jigging it, that snap allows the bait to move up and down a little bit more. And then a lot of times what I, I like to experiment with different colors, easily changing out between sizes, colors, all that stuff, figuring out what the fish want. It's, it's nice using that snap in the cold weather, not having to retie knots, cold fingers and everything. Today I'm fishing six pound fluorocarbon, fishing outside, sheds water a little bit better than a braid would. And then I like using these inline reels, just eliminating line twists when you when you pause the bait down there, eliminating line twists, the bait's sitting still, it's not moving, and triggering those strikes. So usually I'll start out and I'll give it a, a few big rips, really get those beads rattling in there, making a lot of noise, and I'll just kind of level it off just above bottom. So let those fish kind of move in and find it, and I'll kind of repeat that cadence, give it some big rips, and then just level it off. And, and once I, I mark a fish and I see it on my screen, then I'm gonna jig them up and I'm gonna be a little bit more subtle with it. Usually I'm not gonna be giving it the big rips. Oh, there's a fish right there. Here he comes. Oh gosh. Got him, just like that. Give it a big rip and he came flying up by, off the bottom. Doesn't feel like a big giant fish, but oh, got off in the hole, but I got him. Just like that. Pretty awesome. It's an aggressive bite when they do it and they commit. A lot of fun. <laughs>